checking it out. Very tall. Goes about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. That means long levers, big and paid. He's a big dude, so I would think perhaps big problems. Well, you know, you haven't seen a lot of really tall players dominate on the PGA Tour, and the reasons are this. Number one, Rory McIlroy on the left, and we look at Tony Finau on the right. You can see at the angle of the line that goes through their shoulders, Rory has more room. If you look at the distance from his club to his feet and the angle, as he comes down out of the top, he's got more room or space to work the club into the ball, number one. So tall players like Tony Finau has a little bit more trouble there, less space. Now, if we swing it up to the top of the backswing, from right here, you can see, see how much Tony Finau has bent over more than Roy? So he's trying to compensate for his height by bending over more. Now, from this point, imagine your hips starting to turn. They're almost parallel to the ground. But the more you tip over, the more your shoulders get up and down. Now, those planes start to work in different directions. Very hard to sync up. The other thing for a tall player, with less space, when you start to open your hips, your body opens, your hands tend to work out. And when your hands work out, for a really good player, that's where you get what tour players refer to as being stuck. Mm -hmm. Hands a club behind your hands. Or the amateur at home, the tall player at home gets over, it just exacerbates that over-the-top open face slice. And so what you're explaining is that Rory's a little shallower in his swing plane, and Tony's a much steeper, and he has to be based on his height. Now, is there any compensations that you can make for that, or you just have to learn how to deal with mm. the fact that you're tall? Well, there's some keys. There's some things. In fact, you to step over here a little bit. There's some keys and things that you might, if you're really tall, that you need to do. Number one, it's very, very important to have a stable lower body. If your lower body gets too active and moving back and forth, you've got no chance. Another thing is, if you look at, at the really good ball strikers who are tall, their swings tend to be, they, they, they're a little bit shorter. They don't go all the way past parallel. You don't see the real long swings with the long players that are good ball strikers. So a little bit shorter, that gives you more room to get the club down into the ball. So a little more stable base, a little shorter going back, and transition becomes even more important for the tall player. What I mean by transition is this. When you get to the top of your backswing, the most important part of the golf swing is impact. The second most important part is transition from top to bottom. When you get right here, if you're taller, you've got to be a little quiet. Think maybe Henrik Stenson, you know how nice and quiet it is with the lower body. And get the arms. you got to feel like they get moving down a little bit so you can get back into the back of the ball and impact. Because if when you start to open, if they get out here, you're in trouble. So you need a little downward force. Davis Love. Junior used to tell Davis Love the third, who is six foot three, pretend like you're taking the butt of the club and driving a nail down into the ground to get his arms to work the club down into the ball. What about Matt Kuchar? He's a tall guy, but Lanky. he doesn't have that kind of steepness mm. in his golf swing. So he's much more shallow. Is that because he's maybe trying to combat that? That's exactly right. And what he's done here, and that's a great point, Paige, Matt's way around. I mean, he's way over here like this because he's trying to create some space. He's trying to get some space when he opens up. He's got room to work the club out to the ball where he hasn't. He doesn't have to go down. You don't see very many tall players. Matt's kind of unique in that area. You don't see any tall players with that swing that's really kind of flat and around. Most of them are more up. Bubba Watson's six foot three, and think of his swing. You know, he's way, way up there. You 